There is nothing that this Strand Titan build can't do. Invincibility thanks to permanent immunity to over half of all damage, unrivaled offensive capabilities thanks to a permanent 20% weapon damage buff, and the best crowd control in the entire game, bar none. If there was ever an argument for which class got the strongest Strand setup, this build right here makes a nearly undeniable case that Titans hold that number one spot. However, before you and I begin our journey of constructing this masterpiece together, two out of every three viewers are not subscribed to my channel. Clicking that free button is a great no-cost way to support me, so I can keep making videos on the best builds in Destiny just for you. This entire build begins with our first aspect, Dranger's Lash, which emits a strand ripple from your barricade on class ability cast that suspends any target's hit. It's also worth noting that this ripple can over-penetrate targets, meaning that if you cast your barricade in the direction of multiple lined-up enemies, they will all be suspended by the ripple. You'll pair this aspect with the brand new Titan Exotic Boots, Abiant Leap, which in addition to granting Woven Mail, a 60% damage resistance resistance buff when suspending targets casts two additional suspending strand ripples that emit from the left and right sides of your barricade on class ability cast. This effectively allows you to suspend every single enemy in a 90 degree cone towards a direction of your choosing and become immune to over half of all damage every time your class ability is available. And because you want your class ability up as much as possible, it might make sense to select the Rally Barricade class ability since it has a shorter base cooldown timer compared to that of the more traditionally selected Towering Barricade. However, with the fragments and mods with this build, you'll have so much class ability energy being refunded from ability activations and suspended enemy defeats that the difference will be quite negligible. Besides, at tier 10 resilience, which you should be running on this build and all Titan builds for that matter, the difference in cooldown between Rally and Towering Barricade is only 4 seconds anyways. Being blessed with what is effectively infinite woven mail not only gives us a massive damage resistance buff, but thanks to our second aspect, Into the Fray, also grants us increased melee regeneration rate while in possession of this buff. Into the Fray also gives us a second method to acquire Woven Mail, granting it to us when we deal damage with a Tangle. These two aspects and our exotic boosts give us ample means to lock down every single enemy on the battlefield, regenerate our ability energies, and maintain permanent uptime on Woven Mail. But in addition to all that, they also give us four fragment slots to further amp up this already strong kit. The first of these fragment selections is the Thread of Generation, which grants us grenade energy simply for landing hits with our weapons. This fragment alone will give you incredibly high uptime on a grenade of your choosing. Personally for this build, I highly recommend the Shackle Grenade for higher end content, as having another method of enemy suspension in your pocket can be incredibly valuable valuable, especially for shutting down high threat enemies like champions and tormentors. That being said, I totally understand that the grapple grenade is off the charts fun. So if you prefer that option, especially in lower end content where you probably don't need the extra suspension option, I think you'll fare perfectly fine. Our second fragment is the Thread of Continuity, which increases the duration of all strand debuff effects, such as Suspend, by 50%. This will not only help us maintain more control on the battlefield, especially in the case of tankier targets that will take longer to kill and thus need to be suspended for longer, but it will also help us make better use of our third fragment, the Thread of Mind, which grants class ability energy on suspended enemy defeats, with higher tiers of enemies granting more class ability energy. This fragment alone will enable you to have your class ability up 100% of the time to create a positive feedback loop of casting your barricade to suspend everything and killing the suspended targets to get it back. Our final fragment in most strand builds would typically be the Thread of Warding, which grants Woven Mail on Orb of Power pickup. However, with our current setup, we already receive Woven Mail every time we suspend an enemy or damage an enemy with a Tangle 
making this third woven mail acquisition method a bit redundant. Instead, I would urge you towards the Thread of Wisdom, which generates orbs of power on precision weapon final blows against suspended targets, which is incredibly easy considering they literally can't move for about 12 full seconds thanks to our Thread of Continuity. And things only get better once we begin to incorporate our armor mods, which kick off with Reaper on the class item to generate an orb of power on weapon final blows after casting your class ability, which, as we have already established, will be happening a lot. You can also toss on two copies of Bomber to refund a chunk of grenade energy every time you cast your class ability as well. You'll also want to add on a Siphon mod to match the element of your primary ammo weapon to generate orbs on multi-kills with that weapon. We'll become armor charged by picking up these orbs of power to fuel the two surge mods on our boots for a 17% weapon damage buff to any element of our choosing, preferably that of our primary ammo weapon for ad clearing situations, or perhaps your heavy weapon for boss damage. You'll then want to add a copy of Innervation to your boots for a chunk of grenade energy on Orb of Power pickup, should the energy capacity allow for it after you factor in stat mods. And if that wasn't enough ways to refund your grenade, Impact Induction on the gloves will also grant you a chunk of grenade energy when dealing melee damage. This core mod setup can be complemented with some resistances and reserves mods on the chest, an elemental loader mod on the gloves, and if you want to help out your teammates, heavy finder and scout on the helmet. If you'd rather power up yourself a little bit more, however, you'll instead want dynamo for super energy when casting your class ability near enemies, along with powerful friends to grant your allies armor charge stacks when you pick up orbs of power. Look at you still being selfless. And to make your life a little better, all of these mods, fragments, aspects, and abilities, as always, come with a one-click equip link in the description down below. If you want to make my life a little better in return, tagging those like and subscribe buttons down below would do just that. Now, of course, what good is the build if you don't know how to put it to use? With a build that revolves all around spamming our class ability to suspend absolutely everything in front of us, we obviously want to open every engagement with a barricade placement. Your next priority is to then use your shackle grenade to lock down any threats that your barricade ripples didn't suspend. Remember that assuming your Dranger's Lash suspends at least one target, you'll have woven mail for the foreseeable future granting you ample safety while you suspend any leftover targets. From there, begin taking out all of the easy-to-kill suspended enemies, not only to begin thinning the enemy lines, but to also begin refueling your class ability thanks to class ability refund on suspended enemy defeats from Thread of Mind. Bonus points if you can land precision final blows as well to generate orbs of power thanks to the Thread of Wisdom. During this, you'll also be refueling your grenade from weapon hits thanks to the thread of generation, orb pickup from innervation, melee hits from impact induction, and of course recasting your class ability itself thanks to bomber. Additionally, you'll be generating orbs from weapon multi-kills matching your siphon element, suspended precision final blows from thread of wisdom, and weapon final blows after class ability cast, from Reaper. The primary purpose of picking up these orbs is to fuel your weapon surge mods on your boots to give you a 17% weapon damage buff that will have near infinite uptime similar to your woven mail, assuming you continuously utilize at least one of your three orb of power generation methods. With this build, I can't think of a single activity that will be able to go toe to toe with your new Titan Super Soldier. I hope you enjoyed this build viewing experience and equal enjoy using the build yourself in game. Thank you so much for watching and as always have a great day.